Morning, this is Brian. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. I am back again at Storm Canyon Vista area. So, I think I'm gonna take a, take a look to see if I could find that Oasis Spring. This will be my third walk of the day. Did one short hike trying to find a peak and it being uh, the wrong the wrong area so ended up uh, just making a short romp video out of that now and then I found the right trailhead and hiked to this small peak where the San Diego State University Observatory is called on Peak Bagger. It's called Galaxy Way Hill. Made it over there. Now today, I'm gonna make a second run at visiting Oasis Spring. It's a little bit after nine right now. It's probably about ten or a quarter after nine. So if I want to find this spring, better better go now because it's starting to warm up. And this time, it's definitely warmer than it was this time last week, A. And B, even though it's a little bit earlier in the day than it was last time I was over here, it was about an hour, close to an hour later. There's not really a breeze here today. So I'm gonna go hike on the PCT. And when I get to a little switchback area, I'm gonna make a zigzag. And this time find the high road bed to get me where I'm trying to go. A lot of bees out today. Yeah, the bees are out here like crazy. Buckwheats are blooming like crazy up here. It's this plant here, Mojave, Mojave buckwheat. Area going up, I sleep a lot of polyfolium. And it seems like they're also going after the the dragon sage wart. Oh boy, here's a here's a little obstacle. Ay ay ay. <laughs> All right. So uh, here we are once again. Never gets old looking at this view of Storm Canyon. Never gets old looking at that. It never does. If it ever does, that means I have ceased to exist in a fundamental way. So this time I'm going to stay on the PCT. It's going to zigzag up hill a little bit. And then in the middle of one of the zigzags is going to be a roadbed. I'm going to bank right on it from the zigzag. And then follow it. Might be some light bushwhacking. A little overgrown. And this Supposed to be about a 1.7 mile hike, according to this blog, Hiking San Diego County or Hike San Diego County. About a 1.7 mile hike, about 400 or so feet of elevation gain. So I'll be going downhill and uphill on the way back, which will be fun in this warm weather. Uh, we'll see. See how this goes. I'll keep you posted. As I work my way around here on the mouth of, or at the head, I should say, the head of Storm Canyon. All right, so I'm on one of the zigzags.
We gotta look for a road bed. It kind of cuts across. Boy, is it getting warm out here. Let's see. Be on the lookout for an old road bed around here somewhere. I think it's gonna be down this way a little bit, I believe. Oh boy, ravens everywhere. It. I don't know. Let me see. Here comes another switchback. So I know the road bed's supposed to be down a little ways. So I'm gonna see, I think there might be another another switch back I think I might have to do to get over to that road. There's another zigzag or something. I gotta keep an eye on that and see what's popping. Nice rump in the chaparral. At least I'm not doing this a little bit later on. It's supposed to be in the mid 80s today. Starting to head down towards the ravine. So this might should be going the right way. I think I'm supposed to meet it down near in the gully or something. I'm guessing. I don't know. thicker vegetation down here so let's see if I can make the right connections today I said it was a little bit overgrown but pretty easy to follow just probably just have to brush up against some stuff people's definitions of bushwhacking differ me mine's a little stricter it's a little stricter like thrashing through brush like crazy would be my definition of bushwhacking Let's see. All right, this seems to be the PCT still. I mean, we're in the gully, but it still seems to be the PCT, not the roadbed. So I don't know. I'll keep an eye out for a roadbed or something. Unless there's another zigzag I gotta go up, I don't know. I wouldn't consider this really true bushwhacking here, but it's a little overgrown. So let me see, let me see what I find. I'll keep up, keep updating you if 
on what I find. All right, so here's a PCT. I'm wondering if this is the old road bed here. This is a gully. I don't know. I'm gonna take a look at this and see. I'm gonna see if this is it. Well, this is not a road bed here, but it's leading me towards where the road bed should be, I think. So I don't know, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, going back uphill, this is gonna be pretty fun. Let's see. Oh boy, duck under this tree here. Yikes. Yeah, it's a bushwhack now. I think I missed it, actually. Kind of missed it. Let me see. It's supposed to be down here in this gulch somewhere, from what I understood. Let me see. It was supposed to be down here somewhere. Boy, this might be another scouting expedition. The way things are going over here. I don't know. I'm just basically walking at the bottom of this canyon. Off trail now. Boy. It's a lot of stuff to duck under. Saddle up and over this. Just following a little creek here. Woo! This one here. Oh, it looks like Aragaron foliosis, bradyfoliosis. The flea bane. Yeah, this is. This is more of a gully walk than a road walk. So I don't know, this is kind of weird. It's not what I was expecting. This is definitely not a road bed. It's just a creek bed. So I don't know. I thought this would be the way to go. There's something here. Let's see. It appears to be heading in that direction, though. Very interesting. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of downfall in here. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Keep you posted. See if this turns into a what looks like a roadbed. This looks like the direction I should be heading. Right, we'll see. This is totally not what I was expecting. This gully is an actual, this is a pretty uh, pretty crazy canyon bottom here. This is definitely not a road bed from what I can see. Maybe I'm still heading the wrong way. It's turning into a pretty gnarly little adventure. Definitely. A little bit different than I was expecting. I don't see any road or anything actually. This is definitely does not look like a road bed to me. I will keep following it for a little while. 
pretty sure that was the hill I was hiking last week. That ridge right over there should be the hill I was hiking. I was scouting it out. Don't worry about getting lost, it's just trying to there is some bushwhacking. A lot of uh, ducking under logs and stuff. So I'm wondering after after my turnaround, whether I hit the spring or not, if I'm just gonna go and just ramble up the hill to get to the PCT, or if I'm gonna keep following this on the way back. I get back I might I might just be, maybe go up the hill where the chaparral's thinner on the way back now it's an interesting area though there's a random cypress tree over here interesting wonder looks like probably an Arizona cypress Yeah, I think it's like an Arizona cypress tree right here. All right, let me see if I can get around this. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty sketchy spots. Yeah, so just if you decided do it this way. I think this is the right way. I think it is. Just be prepared for some some bushwhacking and some sketchy you know, ducking and dodging a bunch of tree branches and fallen logs. So just be careful. I've been on harder adventures than this before. But, yeah. Pretty interesting, though. Alright, I'll keep you posted. On my next clip, we'll see where I am. Yeah, still not seeing what look, any, look, anything looking like a road bed. I figured I would have seen something like that by now. This is just so far looking like a crazy bushwhack. And there's definitely a, a fair amount of that. In addition, a lot of branches stuff I think it might be yeah ah oh boy yeah, this might be a turn this might, I might have to turn around here this is not what I was expecting this is not really a road it's just a gully bottom and it's getting really really uh narrow there might not be able to follow it uh, let me see see if I can bypass it over here
wait a minute. There's something up here. Let me see. I think I found it. I think this is it. All right. This might be it here. It's supposed to be a little above the gully. Whew. Get some pictures of this. This is much better, much better. Okay, I know I'm going the right way because of this little retaining wall. I remember seeing that on Google Earth imagery. There's also a picture of it on the hiking blog, Hike San Diego County. So yeah. All right, so I'm steady going down. Thankfully, I was able to find the roadbed with a lot of navigating around. <laughs> I'm gonna try to follow this as cl close back up to the PCT as I can. So yeah, I do see where Oasis Spring is located. I do see it up ahead. And I'm getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer. When I map this hike out on the video, it's probably the uh, off trail route's gonna be pretty approximate. I'll try to keep it as try to keep it as close to accurate as possible. But we'll see how that works out. So far, so good now. I am on the right path. I can also see the pump house. And yes, telltale sign, probably some underground moisture in the area. California Laurel, California Bay Laurel, on Bella Laria, Californica is popping up. So I'm wondering if big leaf maple is actually gonna be in there. I can't see anything from here that looks like it yet. Doesn't mean it's not there, but we'll see. I'm hoping it is, that would be really cool. I've yet to see it here in San Diego County. It's only found in a couple spots. And I think Oasis Spring is supposed to be one of them. So we'll see. Yeah, this is a lot better than that gully. That gully was, that was a pretty tough one. That's definitely going to up the difficulty value on my hike, per se, to a moderate. So, I should be getting towards Oasis Spring pretty soon. I will see you when I'm just about there, unless some interesting botany gets in the way. I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Okay, so we've hit a patch of bushwhacking right here. Ceanothus palmery, palmer ceanothus. Now there's definitely some bushwhacking now. This is the worst I've seen since coming on this. This is the worst I've seen. It's not impenetrable, just, just take your time. It's not impenetrable. Ceanothus palmery. Usually not too bad. Well, looks like there's gonna be some more coming up here too, it looks like. Oh, Chaparral Whitethorn. Ooh, yeah. This is definitely one that's gonna be hard to bushwhack through. Almost got a mouthful of it too.
Yeah, this road bed must, must have been out of service for a very long time. got up ahead some kind of lupine ooh boy okay well i think i found it starting to see some stream lupines oh boy yeah we got some interesting botany over here oh corn lily or no is this something else no this is some type of lily here. Not sure what species of lily this is. Or liliaceae. I thought I was thinking I've seen corn lily, but no, nah, this is something else. Looks like we got giant chain fern too. What wordy thimbriata. Wow, that's pretty cool. Wow. Okay. I'm trying to see. I'm not seeing any big leaf maple. We're supposed to be not that far from the pump house. I don't know if I'm gonna go much further than this because it looks like it's gonna get very sketchy. I don't see any big leaf maple from here. So this is the Oasis Spring area. Should be a pump house right nearby. So I think it might be kind of far away from I mean, kind of off where I wouldn't feel too comfortable going down this. So this is the Oasis Spring area. Yeah, I'm not seeing any maple trees. You'll see a small coast live oak right up there. Pretty cool. Yeah. So let's see what else we have here, botanies, botany-wise. No! No, this is giant stream orchid. Okay, I recognize this now. This is giant stream orchid, and of course I missed it in bloom. This is Epipactus gigantea. This looks like giant stream orchid. It's, it's one of the relatively few species of orchidaceae we have here in Southern California. We do have a few smaller paparia species and stuff like that, but we're called wood rain orchids. But yeah. Yeah, this is a giant stream orchid we got grown here. I was thinking this is some kind of lily or corn lily at first, but then... And I remember I've seen those seed capsules before. Yeah, this is Epipactus gigantea, so we do have an under... We still have an underground source of water here. It's just we don't have it above the surface, because this is a very dry, desert-facing slope here in the lagunas. So the spring is right in this area. So yeah, we got Epipactus gigantea here. Got more chaparral white thorn, so you do have to bushwhack a little bit through some chaparral white thorn. Luckily, the growth on it is still relatively tender. It hasn't completely hardened off yet, which it probably will later this summer and early in fall. But we do have some thickets of Umbellularia californica. So we're right now we're about an elevation of 5,150 feet. So we're gonna have a little bit of climbing to do on the way back, but it was so worth it to finally get down in this area. Very beautiful over here. Yeah, it's very luscious. A lot of stuff growing here. But again, I don't see any big leaf maples from my vantage point. Doesn't mean that they aren't here. Just from where I could get to with, without putting myself in a lot of sketchy danger. I just don't know if it'd be worth trying to do that. I was going to try to see if I could visit the pump house. But I can't even see it from here. But I think it's, I think it's down here a little bit if I, if I remember correctly. I have seen it from above. Definitely have seen it from above, so that's not an issue. I know it's in the area. I don't know if I can see it from where I am now. But yeah, we got giant chain fern here. Again, this is Woodwardia fimbriata. And we do get some spots along here where there's some really good views of Storm Canyon, especially where it's more open. And then we got a great view looking over towards Whale Peak, right there to our northeast. Right in Anzabrigo Desert State Park. So yeah, it's pretty luscious here. So the spring's in the area. That's why we have giant chain fern, giant stream orchid, and 
tight clusters of California Bay Laurel here. This is one of the few places in, in San Diego County where you're gonna find Umbella Laria Californica, the California Bay Laurel. I didn't see, like I said, I didn't see any big leaf maples. Doesn't mean they might not be in the thickets there, but again, it kind of looks a little sketchy. And so I don't want to take, really want to take too many, too many unnecessary chances and get myself caught up in a rough situation. I've been known to do some rugged stuff, but if I don't have to, I really don't want to. Or you never have to, but you know what I mean. So I'm going to start heading back. I'm going to go back basically the way I came. Do this little bit of bushwhacking here. And I'm going to try to follow the road bed as far as I can. Oh, there's a California laurel ceiling, I believe. I think that's what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and start working my way back. Nice little adventure. And enjoy another bay laurel right there. All right. Time to start heading back. It's pretty much all uphill, actually. Except the very last stretch, which was the first stretch on the way out, of course. All right. See you on the next. See you on the way out. Yeah, look at the beautiful views. This is right, right next to where the real steep drop off begins. Absolutely insane. And that's looking up towards peak 5958 right there. Peak I did back in October last year. Also did the little bump next to it, which is Hayes Peak, a little bit higher. And then I can see one of the towers of Monument Peak off to its right. But yeah. Right in the steep drop off leading down to Anza Borrego Desert State Park down there. But absolutely phenomenal view. You got a good view of the Valle Seat, those mountains again. Whale Peak in the center frame there. I can see Villager Peak and Rabbit Peak over there. And the Santa Rosa's off in the distance. And that's up near Garnet Peak up there. The ridge line leading up to Garnet Peak is over there. So yeah, some pretty stupendous views down in the Storm Canyon. We are basically roughly in the head of it here just below the head of the canyon, which is the ridge line. So I want to keep you posted. Hopefully I can follow this back to the PCT instead of getting off track again. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. Do see the pump house. Kind of in the center. Kind of down, down there from that dead tree snag. Yeah, I would have had to do some very steep canyoneering to get to it. Uh, I'm good on that. It would have been cool to visit it. But it's a pretty uh, gnarly drop off. So I think I'll be good on that. So yeah, I was up on that ridge right there last week, looking down here, looking down at this section. So yeah, I was up on that. I came fairly close to getting down here. I was maybe about a half the way down. Oh, it's very rugged over here too. It's very decent drop offs. I had to try to climb up Storm Canyon this way. That would be a gnarly adventure. Yeah, probably be very loose scree and soil. Probably some class three or maybe even more, I would assume. So I'm gonna stick to this road bed. Yeah, I can see some drainage culverts over here too. You see that go down this canyon gully here. See some drainage culverts right there. All right, keep working my way back up towards the PCT. It'd be great if I could find it. If I could see some old road signs of the roadbed, 
little signs or posts. So I'm just gonna follow this back up. And here's the little, here's the other, here's a little retainer, retaining wall, whatever this is, over here. Pretty cool. All right, see up the way. All right, so I'm about where I came up from the gully. Came up right around here somewhere is where I came up. Because right here is a huge canyon live oak thicket. That would have been a really insane bushwhack. So now I'm going to keep heading up this way. Let's see. Let's see if this gets me. Back to the PCT. So yeah, when I was this far, I was still down in the canyon. Now I'm actually on the roadbed, which is good. Hopefully I'll be able to follow this back to the PCT. Even for a short hike like this, Make sure you bring water. I have more than I'll need, but do yourself a solid. Make sure you bring water on this one, especially if you're gonna do it in August. It's a relatively short hike, distance-wise, but for bushwhacking and some slight cross-country travel, you wanna make sure you have enough water to keep you sustained it will take you a little bit longer to get through. Yeah, I was down there. Should have been up here the whole time. So hopefully I'll be able to find the PCT. I'll be able to get back without any problems. See up the way. Got some Western choke cherry along the side here. There was some of it down the gully too. In Virginia, I'm ready to miss a. Looks like the birds already picked these ones clean. It's cool to see some Western choke cherry. I did have a little bit of a bushwhack. There's some here. Totally doable though. The roughest part is when I was going towards the spring at one section where there's a lot of sea and othis, but it doesn't last very long. Some Utah service berry here too. And here's the old road bed. So far, so good. Let's hope to keep the good going. Hoping to get back to the PCT. Honestly, if it were for me staying on the road, if I had made it to the road in the first place, this would be a relatively easy hike. But since I missed the road and went in the gully instead, that upped my version of the hike to moderate. Here we go, more Ceanothus. Like I said, this is not too bad. I'm used to doing some level of bushwhacking. So, looks like we're gonna have a little bit more of it here. But this isn't that bad though. It's easy to follow the path. You see it easily underneath you. You just gotta brush by the shrubs. All right, see you back at the PCT unless I come across some crazy botany or wildlife. Okay, I have hit kind of a sketchy patch here. Looks like the road kind of peters out. And I've got the steep hill and bushwhack right here. I don't know, I'm supposed to be going this way. This part right here is a little sketchy. So I don't see a pathway going around this way too well. I guess I'll just have to bushwhack it and see. Just gotta keep eyes down here if I can. Okay. Oh yeah, this is the, okay, we're okay. Staying left. When you get to that pass there, stay left. Otherwise you're gonna be sliding downhill a little bit. A little sketchy there. All right, see you soon. 
All right, now the bushwhack's getting pretty serious now. Can't really see underfoot either now. So I don't know. Yeah, he stirs. I don't see a way around this. Unless I go in the gully again. I might have to go back in the gully. That's what it looks like right now. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back off trail again. I don't know. I don't see a, <coughs> I don't see a way around it. Looks like I might be forced back in the gully. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go back in the gully and finish this out. Or at least until I get some PCT. Now the roadbed's all disappeared. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go back down there. Oh boy, yeah, you're sketchy. There's a certain point where it looks impassable. I guess I'll have to work in the gully, I guess. Or where else to go from there. Back in the gully again. Hopefully I'll find the PCT soon. I didn't see a way past all that. All right, well, see you back at the PCT. Made it back to the PCT. Wow, gotta go this way. Away from the highway, but up some switchbacks start heading back all right I was kind of tired it's quite a bit of bushwhacking in the gully so I'm just gonna keep heading up this way and keep you posted when I'm getting close Yep, I'm getting close. Getting close to Storm Canyon. You can see the vista area right over there. Right where I'm parked. I saw somebody looking out over Storm Canyon over there. Yeah, pretty impressive views over there. Whew, it's definitely warming up quite a bit. So I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna use this cutoff like I did last week back to the, back to Sunrise Highway and walk the short distance back to Storm Canyon, I've already been out to my destination. I'm just gonna go take the easy way, easy quick way back to my car. Uh, I'll see you for one last little update. Well, I'm on my last approach to the car, enjoying some rugged views here. Well, at least I was able to take you guys along with me to the Oasis Spring area here in the Laguna Mountains. Yeah, there are some areas where that roadbed, especially towards... Uh, getting towards the end of my walk well, before getting back on the PCT. If I left the PCT even a little bit sooner, it would have been a total, even more of a bushwhack. So maybe finding the gully at first was a blessing in disguise, because I ended up following that, going back in the gully on my way back once I got to an area that looked completely impassable, I ducked right back down into the upper portions of that gully and followed that the rest of the way back to the PCT. Cause it... So, 
trying to get through the roadbed from the PCT directly from what it looks like is a pretty might be a pretty difficult process probably requires a high amount of bushwhacking so the way I did it actually allowed me to get to where I wanted to go so I met my target finally got to Oasis Spring and this is gonna about do it for my video from here at Storm Canyon Vista area here in Cleveland National Forest Laguna Mountains Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little ramble that I had and see you on the next hike.